guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Mora Garber. Now this is a knife I've had for quite some time, since October of last year, and it's a knife that I've been using a lot ever since, and really ever since I got it, or really ever since I saw the reviews on it before I even got one, I knew that this knife was going to be an absolute winner. This knife by far has really proven, especially now that I've got my hands on it, to be a complete, has proven to be a complete winner. Uh, and I'm going to explain one or many of the reasons why I absolutely love this knife.
So the first reason, and I think the reason that ties this entire knife together uh, and why I love it and why I've had such a great time with it is the price point. This knife, especially now, can be had for under $70 and it's a full tang, uh, rather chunky, at least for you know this size uh, knife that's extremely robust. When you hold it, it really has a good feeling of just robust. It's not going to break on you. You know, you can baton this thing as hard as you want. You can really beat this knife up and it's not going to break. It's not going to budge at all. And like I said, uh, the really why I love this whole thing is just the price point. So aside from the price point being extremely low, I've seen as low on Amazon as $60, which is really great. Um, aside from that point, the grind is also another thing I love. I love just straight V-ground Scandies. And like most people have reported, you know, these do have small micro bevels on them, primarily due to the thickness of them. But aside from that micro slight, bevel that is very small and can be taken out, uh, this is a straight V-ground Scandi and its performance, as I hope you guys could see in that slightly failed tri-stick. I can't believe right at the end of that, it just blew out. You know, <laughs> I just gave up at that point. But, um, you know, as you can see in the performance, this is a birch wood here. So it's a harder wood than other like pine, aspen stuff like that this is birch so this is a harder wood but it, you know it just ate it right up and did such a great job at you know making notches and really overall uh, that is really this knife it does a very great job it also made a really nice feather stick very fast once again for me like i said in my grinds video um you know for me the scandy grind it just really really works for me uh so that is a really awesome plus to it. It is also, another note, no, it is also a full tang as I mentioned and so you know I really love the robustness to this but I like how they executed the full tang on this. Really when I first got this knife I immediately noticed that this knife is extremely cold weather friendly and I've been really enjoying that because this year has been quite cold so coming out and having a cold weather friendly knife is really great and what I mean by that is that if you guys can see the full tang is still there and still protrudes but it is entirely encapsulated in a plastic handle which means that the plastic never gets as cold as the steel will uh, and if you have an exposed tang like that it can create cold spots in the handle another thing that is cold weather friendly is this sheath you know if you notice how this sheath is one big flap a lot like the falcon even f1 the reason why knife makers do that and you primarily see this out of scandinavian or colder climate knife makers is uh, because this big full flap allows you to get like all four of your fingers on it and pull it open. So that allows you, even with mittens, to access this knife out of its sheath. Really light, and I think that aside from this being a full tang, something else that Mora really got a high demand to do. These plates today, I don't know what it is up with them, but like I was saying, something that they got a high demand to do was a straight flat ground spine and Mora has really delivered on this. These, uh, not only is this tang, but this little area down here, this little nub that sticks out, they are both ground to 90 degrees and they throw sparks. Unfortunately, I don't have a right here to show you guys, uh, but they throw sparks like a boss. And this knife is so great at throwing sparks. So is the Eldress and all their newer released uh, kind of, I don't know what you would call these, maybe mid-ranged bushcraft or outdoors knives. They're all ground extremely well. The cons bowls just like that. And this one though, like I was saying, throws sparks so well. And you know, this knife being full tang and having a sharpened spine really hits on the two largest things that bushcrafters, outdoorsmen were really asking Mora to deliver on. And um, this, uh, you know, the stainless steel has been very good. This is the first stainless steel that, uh, Mora I've ever got. I generally stay away from the stainless steel Moras, but I've been quite impressed with the edge retention and overall stainlessness of this knife. It's been a very good performer, and I am really pleasantly surprised to see how well this Sandvik 
holds up uh, and I think it was an excellent choice and really everything about this knife I think just goes back to the whole fact that Mora really took their time to deliver this knife and they weren't just sitting around you know thinking oh how do we do this but they really listened to the customers they listened to you know what people were buying and what people wanted in a knife so when they delivered this knife, it just is so perfect because Mora finally, you know, they really sat down over a cumulative amount of years and they looked, they saw how to deliver a great knife for people. Uh, another thing that I really liked about this knife is really like about this knife is the handle and the ergonomics. The overall, the ergonomics are not very good for a tactical knife. I think many people have talked about this in other reviews. Make no mistake, this is not a tactical knife, but it is a very good bushcraft knife. And why I say this is because, and it might be a little bit hard. Hopefully, I can kind of like move out of frame and show you guys. Sorry, this black that I'm kind of like wearing in this handle don't quite match up, but. Uh, this handle, like I was saying, especially up here at this top of it, it is very neutral, and this makes it extremely nice to hold it like this, like this, like this, like this, and you can hold it in so many bushcrafting grips. So regardless to whether you're doing chest levers or if you're just making feather sticks, the knife feels the same way, both ways. And that is a really nice thing because oftentimes what you'll find a lot of knives is that, you know, they feel really, really good this way, but man, when you turn them this way, you know, like the coil digs into this, you know, area, this webbing here, and it just hurts. You know, in some way they're uncomfortable, but this knife is made so neutral that it's it's very comfortable in both grips and I really like that or in not just both grips but many different bushcrafting grips so while make no mistake this is not a very tactical knife in that regard uh, it is an extremely good outdoors knife so that is essentially it for the big positives I've seen on this knife there are a lot you know it's a thicker spine blade you know, there's just so many things. I can go on and on about pluses. This is just like one big plus knife. Honestly, the only downside I really have to this knife is I don't see how Mora is gonna make it better. They've done such a good job with this knife and how it's delivered that I don't really see how they can make it superior to this. You know, this is very, very good. Uh, and like I said, once again, offering it at that price point of like 60 to $70 is just crazy. Um, and that's why I am you know, definitely introduced it with the Intermediate to Beginner Bushcrafter kit. This is a knife that if you're an Intermediate to uh, Beginner Bushcrafter, even a more experienced Bushcrafter, you will love to get this knife. Guys, uh, that has been my review on the Mora Garberg. I, like I said, I really love this knife and uh, I would highly recommend it to anyone looking for a you know, mid-level to even entry, you know, bushcrafting knife that's really high value. Like, like most Mora knives, this knife is extremely high value. And, you know, Mora continues to deliver on that value equation. And that's what I really love most about this knife. Anyways, guys, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and tell me what your thoughts are on this knife. And do you guys own one? You know, are you guys going to get one? Just tell me what your thoughts are on this knife and I'm out.